Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and today you will learn why it is important to learn improper Russian. Russian has a lot of richness and a lot of, um, you know, depth into it. We Russians take pride in that, and we really know that Russian is very, is very diverse, and we can express many things with Russian. But there must be a healthy mix between the pure Russian and the everyday Russian. A lot of you guys, as learners, you do not know or do not feel the depth of Russian because you haven't been exposed to a lot of Russian just yet, and it's perfectly fine. And so I want to tell you today, guys, that as you're learning Russian now, do not only go for the proper expressions, for the ways that Pushkins and Dostoevskis and Tolstoys were speaking back in the day. You should also get in tune with Russians today. Not all Russians speak purely. Not all Russians speak correctly. So if you guys limit yourself to only things, to only the pure Russian, then you are running a risk of not being able to be understood by, Ru by Russians when you are going to be in Russia. Not everybody is going to be this well-educated, well-versed in the Russian language uh, in Russia. And so if you only limit yourself to the correct expressions, to the purity of Russian and to only that, then I guarantee that, guys, when you go to Russia, you're going to have a lot of trouble. That's the first point. Firstly, it's sometimes it's not even practical to go for the pure Russian because not all Russians speak it. Secondly, it's going to be very hard. Of course, you guys as learners, sometimes you don't know all the words. You don't know all the expressions. And you will simplify Russian to fit your vocabulary, right? Let's say you don't, not, you, you don't know the word for reject. What are you going to say? You're going to say not accept right so you're gonna come and simplify your russian to come around your uh, holes in the knowledge right you're gonna come around and you're gonna use your knowledge to express your idea and it might not be perfect every single time but you guys as learners must do that because if you're gonna avoid it you may never speak russian because you're gonna be always afraid oh i don't know this word i don't know that word i don't know this word whatever so second point is that you guys must simplify your language and by default simplified language is not rich is not deep right and it's perfectly fine you'll be understood every, everywhere you go so don't think don't have this mentality of oh i only must speak how pushkin spoke no you can speak however you can speak for you to be understood and i guarantee that whenever you simplify your language the majority will still understand you all right, and then of course, once you do that, then add more layers to your Russian, add more depth to your Russian, add more vocabulary, add more expressions, add more colloquial words, all of that, okay? That's the second point. And the third point is that Russian, like any other language, is evolving. And who are we to tell everybody, yo, stop, stop evolving, stop improving, stop getting better. Let's keep Russian as it was 100 years ago stop changing everything we cannot do that because the world every single thing every single thing about our existence gets simplified we don't travel by foot anymore first we got horses right we traveled by horses because it enables us to go further and faster then we got the cars then we got the planes right now for us to exchange information we don't have to shout hey um, uh, Fedor in America, hear this. No, we do texting. Be uh, before then, it was post, right? So, our ways of communicating, our ways of living get simplified. And by virtue of simplifying that, our language has to be simplified as well. And so, it's, it's evolving to become what it is now. And so, do not resist the change. We do have words that are borrowed from English in Russian that kind of replace Russian words, and it's okay. Because if the word is, is going there, we must go with it as well. We cannot resist it, because it's simply impossible. There's gonna be maybe like a thousand people who are going to resist the change, but 10,000 people who are gonna accept the change. And guess who's gonna, left be, who's gonna be left behind? Those thousand people. It doesn't matter how loud they shout, 
because those 10,000 people are still going to be using the new and evolving Russian every single day. And so you guys as learners, of course, you must go with the new and evolving Russian because if you only go, if you only read the books of, of Tolstoy and Dostoevsky and you feel like that's the Russian I must be speaking, then you will be left behind because you are reading, of course, read for the entertainment, for the quality of the language, for for what they are trying to say in the book. Of course, I do not take away anything of their greatness and of their genius. They are genius authors. But to assume that that language that's used in those books is what is how we speak today is simply false. We don't speak the same way. Some people strive for that, some people don't. But overall, you will never find a person, I mean, you will never find a day where you're going to be speaking Russian and everybody's going to speak to you like uh, in the books of Dostoevsky. It's not going to happen. And so, guys, keep that in mind, that Russian is changing. And always tune in to the real Russian. Listen to interviews. Listen to the news reports. Listen to how people speak on the street. Talk to people. If you're ever in Russian, talk to them and find out how they speak. Okay? Maybe get closer to how Russians speak versus how you think Russian must be spoken. That's it for me. A little rant about Russian. And I'll be more than excited to read your comments.